The raven arrived from the citadel this morning, Your Grace. The conclave has met, considered reports from maesters all over the Seven Kingdoms, and declared this great summer done at last. The longest summer in living memory. The peasants say a long summer means an even longer winter. A common superstition. We'll have enough wheat for a five-year winter. If it lasts any longer, we'll have fewer peasants. The city's drowning in refugees, Your Grace, fleeing the war. We have nowhere to house them, and with winter coming, it'll only get worse. You command the city watch, do you not, Miss Lint? I do, Your Grace. And are you not a lord at my command? I owe my title and lands to your generosity, Your Grace. Then do your job. Shut the gates to the peasants. They belong in the field, not our capital. Yes, Your Grace. Don't get up. More ravishing than ever, big sister. What agrees with you? Forgive the interruption. Carry on. What are you doing here? It's been a remarkable journey. I pissed off the edge of the wall. I slept in a sky cell. I fought with the hill tribes. So many adventures. So much to be thankful for. What are you doing here? This is the small council. Yes, well, I... I do believe the Hand of the King is welcome at all small council meetings. Our father is Hand of the King. Yes, but in his absence... Your father has named Lord Tyrion to serve as Hand in his stead while he fights... Out! All of you, out! I'd like to know how you tricked father into this. If I were capable of tricking father, I'd be emperor of the world by now. From this time until the end of time, we are not part of your realm, but a free and independent kingdom of the north. He has more spirit than his father. I'll give him that. You've perfected the art of tearing up papers. You can give him his father's bones back, at least, as a gesture of good faith. Look at the Starks, our reply, cousin. I will, Your Grace. Did you see my brother when you were the Stark's guest? I did. They have not broken his spirit, Your Grace. If you speak with him, tell him he has not been forgotten. I will, Your Grace. Safe travels, cousin. You have a deft hand with diplomacy. If that's everything. Uh, um, a raven flew in this morning from Castle Black. Trouble with the wildlings. That's why they're called wildlings. Somewhat less wild these days. Seems they've stopped killing each other and started following this king beyond the wall. Another king? How many is that now? Five? <laughs> I've lost count. Lord Commander asks that we send more men to man the wall. Perhaps he's forgotten we're fighting a war. We have no men to spare. Cold winds are rising, and the dead rise with them. The Northerners are a superstitious people. According to the commander, one of these dead men attacked him in his chambers. Mormont doesn't lie. How do you kill a dead man? Apparently you burn him. One trip to the wall and you come back believing in grumpkins and snarks. <laughs> I don't know what I believe. But here's a fact for you. The Night's Watch is the only thing that separates us from what lies beyond the wall. I have every confidence that the brave men of the Night's Watch will protect us all. And I said... Oh, thank the gods. I haven't had a proper shit in six days. I've encountered this problem before, my lord. The stresses of power often have this um, <laughs> insalubrious effect. Uh, two drops with water daily. I'm, I'm so grateful to have a man of your vast knowledge and wisdom on my side. Oh, well, please. Well, thank you, my lord. I can trust you, Pycelle, can I not? Why, yes, of course, my lord. 
These are perilous times. And the Crown must forge new alliances. And these alliances must often be sealed in matrimony. Matrimony? Uh, yes. I'm trusting the Council with these plans, but the Queen mustn't know. I can't have her meddling in affairs that could determine the future of the realm. There's too much at stake. Oh, yes, yes, indeed. Yes, I shall be silent as the grave. I'm brokering an alliance with House Martel of Dorn. Princess Marcella will wed their youngest son when she comes of age, ensuring their loyalty and their army should we need it. Marcella sent away to Dawn. What is the meaning of this? No, please, please. You disappoint me, Grand Maester. I am your loyal servant. So loyal that you told the Queen about my plans to send Marcella to Dawn. No, never. It's a falsehood. I swear it. It wasn't me. Ah, Varys. It was Varys the spider. You see, I told Varys that I was giving the princess to the Greyjoys. I told Littlefinger that I planned to wed her to Robin Aaron. I told no one that I was offering her to the Dornish. No one but you. God, a eunuchus spies everywhere. Cut off his manhood and feed it to the goats. No, 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 no. There are no goats, half man. We'll make do. <laughs> How long have you been spying for my sister? All I did, I did for House Lannister. Always, your Lord Father, ask him. I've always been his servant since the days of the Mad King. I don't like his beard. What? Wait, wait. Oh, no. 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 <laughs> How many hands have you betrayed, Pycelle? Eddard Stark, John Arryn. Oh, oh, Lord Arryn. He knew. He, he knew the tr truth about, about, about the Queen, and, and he, he planned to act, to, t to tell King Robert. So you poisoned him? No, never. But you let him die, made sure he succumbed. Lannister. I always served Lannister. Get him out of my sight. Throw him in one of the black cells. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, please, no, don't. You can't do this to me. For your trouble. No, no, no. Please, no, no. As you know, Your Grace, it is not only the sworn duty of a maester to carry out the wishes of the house he served, but also to offer guidance and counsel in times of war. Your words are always wise and measured. If you could... If anything, a maester's duties become more urgent in times of war and turmoil. I remember back in the days of... King. You brought me something? Yes. Uh, essence of nightshade is as dangerous as it is efficacious. Uh, a single drop in a cup of wine uh, suffices to soothe ragged nerves. Uh, three drops will bring on a deep and dreamless sleep. Ten drops, however... I know what ten drops will bring. Your Grace, if I may ask... You may not. You must have a lot of work to do. I'm sure many brave men will need your wisdom soon. Yes, a, a siege is very... Be careful on the stairs, Grand Meister. There are so many. Your Grace... Find Bronn or Varys. Tell them 
I am here with Maester Pycel. Tell them I am very much alive. Yes, my lord. Would you like something for the pain? What happened? The murderer and traitor Stannis Baratheon suffered a stunning defeat at the hands of your father. Where am I? These are your new chambers. A little cramped, perhaps, but you don't need much room, do you? You are no longer Hand of the King. Oh. For your trouble. For the good of the realm, your counselors beg you to set Sansa Stark aside. I would like to heed your wishes and the wishes of my people, but I took a holy vow. Uh, your Grace, uh, the gods do indeed hold betrothal solemn, but your father, blessed be his memory, made this pact before the Starks revealed their falseness. I have consulted with the High Septon, and he assures me that their crimes against the realm free you from any promise you have made to them in the sight of the gods. The gods are good. I am free to heed my heart. Solaris, I will gladly wed your sweet sister. You will be my queen. And I will love you from this day until my last day. <laughs>